now and get that chicken ready to cook. Okay. So I want to get the heat up in there before I add my oil, and it doesn't take long with a wok because you've just got a very, very thin cooking surface. Use about three tablespoons of oil, and I've got rice bran oil because it doesn't overpower any of my lovely flavours in the rest of the dish. Keep it at a relatively high heat, and then just start to move that chicken around. I've used boneless chicken thighs in today's recipe, and it's a really great cut for being very flavorful and it'll really retain the moisture. Oh, lovely. And I can already smell some of those flavors that I know are gonna really excite my taste buds. I'm looking for golden color on the outside, and I wanna make sure that that thigh meat is cooked all the way through. Probably around five to seven minutes is enough. Then I can turn my heat down, and I can start to add some of my veggies. I just wanna saute that garlic and ginger just until it's a little bit soft. I certainly don't want any colour on that at this stage. So in with my chilli. Chilies also have a really high sugar content in them, so they'll also want to burn quite quickly, so keep them moving around. Now I'm going to mix those all in with my chicken. All right, next ingredient, these lovely spring onions. And these get cooked not all the way through so that they're really soft and sloppy. They'll still have a beautiful little bite to them. Okay, that looks good. The next ingredient to go into the wok are some roasted peanuts. And this is very typical of this dish. It provides that beautiful nutty flavor as well as a great little crunchy texture. It's around about half a cup in there. Stir those around. You can buy your peanuts pre-roasted or you can just toast some off in a pan is fine. Now, sometimes this recipe calls for Sichuan peppers, and they're a little bit hard to find, so what I've done is I've substituted for that the little pink peppercorn, which also gives that lovely same sort of floral flavour of a Sichuan pepper. We're just using around about a teaspoonful of these, and they can just be sprinkled in there. Now, for the final step, I can add that sauce that I've mixed. Half your sauce at the beginning, reserve a little bit just to see if you need to add more, but I don't want to drown this dish in sauce. It really just is there to bind the ingredients together. That's looking fantastic. It's deepened in colour. It's exactly what I'm looking for. I can serve this up. I've got some rice here to serve with it. So let's pull a little bit of that in a little bowl. Right, now just pile this up on a plate. Oh, and I can see those chilies in there. You've got that really dark, rich-looking colour that just screams flavour to me. So let's have a little try. Mmm! Oh, the flavour in that is fantastic. It's really hot, but it's also really well balanced with the ginger and the spring onion and that garlic flavour. That is not a dish for the faint-hearted, but it is absolutely fantastic. Mm.